We have been assisting the communities in Garissa, Turkana, and uh, Wajia, the ones which are next to the refugee camps. This project was for five years, and uh, the World Bank gave us uh, 10 billion, which was divided among the three counties which host refugees. We have Garissa, which got 4.2 billion. We have um, um, Trukana, which got 3.3 billion, and we have Wajia, which, which got uh, 2 billion. Now, what we are supposed to do with this uh, project is that um, we are supposed to provide water, uh, health facilities, education facilities for community which hosted refugees. We are also supposed to make sure that uh, there is livelihood. Uh, for the communities which have been hosting uh, refugees, these communities are given money to do livelihood generation activities. Uh, they have businesses to do with livestock, business to do with non-traditional non uh, livelihood, like um, they do um, uh, issues to do with the tree planting, they do seedlings, so that we can enrich the environment which has, which has been destroyed. And because it is community-driven uh, project, it takes time because the communities must be synthesized. They are trained so that they understand the project and they come with the priority needs. That is what they want to do, the help they want from the government uh, and from the money which we have been given by World Bank. So that process is with which takes a lot of time as uh, delayed the project, but we are almost there because like in Galisa here where we are, they have, we have, got, they have gotten 1.7 billion, meaning what is remaining within a year, if one goes well, we should be through. And since the project has a lot of benefits to the communities, they have been very happy with this project. That is why they are asking, is the community themselves asking if there could be an extension because the benefits are very many, according to them. If they have water, which they didn't have, they have water for livestock, they have water for, for themselves, they are able to make, to do businesses and put money in their pockets. They are able to take their children to school. We are, we are building classrooms, you know, so that we keep children to, uh, in, the, in school and so that they can translate from primary school to secondary and even university. University. That's a very, very big thing in this area. A success rate can, I can only be evaluated by the community, but what makes me happy is that uh, the way we had planned, the, pro the project is on course. That is, that is what I can say is my success uh, story. The project is on course. When I come here, I see women getting water, clean water, which they didn't have. I feel very happy. When I come here, I find animals which had no water and they were dying like now in the dry season, they have enough water, that is what makes me happy. We're here, you know, working with the government of Kenya uh, to take a look and see whether the, the money for this project is being used uh, for, you know, for the right purpose. So we, I think for me, I'm looking to see maybe three things. One, are the projects actually here and functional? So we have solarization here of the, of the water pump for to provide water to people in the local community. Number two, does the project meet the need of the community? Is it what they wanted? Is it what they asked for? Does it match the needs in the local area? And then number three, because this project is community-based, it really tries to build the capacity for communities to, to make decisions themselves and then to manage these projects once, once we're finished. So we're really coming to check, do they have the knowledge, do they have the skills, do they have the confidence that they need in order to manage this when the project is finished so that you know, the water that's flowing here now you know, will be flowing in five or ten years' time. Uh, not just for the next six months. So this is really what we've come to see. Uh, we'll be here you know, in different parts of Gurisa over the next few days uh, to check out different, different parts of the, of the county. The project is supposed to finish uh, in April of 2022. Uh, we're, we're in the process right now in response to a request from the government to extend that for one more year uh, through to April 2023. Uh, that, you know, just because of the COVID situation, need a little more time to finish things. So there, there will be at least a 12 month extension. Uh, beyond that is really a matter of, uh, for, the, for the Kenyan government to decide. What can talk to is what I've seen here uh, at this one site. Um, so of course we can see that the, the water is flowing 
uh, the community of Taurus that uh, is meeting the needs of the people and also the livestock which provides their main source of income in this area. Uh, the community of Taurus that they've been trained on, on uh, how to manage the finances, on how to operate and maintain it. Um, so from what we've seen here, you know, it, it's, um, you know, it, it's very pleasing.